Kinesiot Maintenance, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be talking about fire safety. Fire safety. So I'm going to show you the clip where I nearly lost my entire shop. Nearly lost everything because of a fire that took place in my workshop. Now I bought this Bosch cordless sander in the month of December. December of last year. And um, I bought it on Amazon. I had to I ship Amazon will not ship this sander together with the battery to me in St. Thomas. They would not ship the battery at all. So I had to have them ship the sander to me and then order the batteries separately and had to have the battery shipped to North Carolina where I was going to be in North Carolina and I brought it down to St. Thomas myself. So I ended up the tool is sold by itself on Amazon and you have to buy the battery and the charger separately. I could not have gotten a package with everything because Amazon will not ship the battery. So I ended up buying two batteries, Bosch 12 volt batteries, lithium ion batteries and Amazon recommended this charger this charger this charger and this charger came with one battery so actually I bought two Bosch batteries and this is an aftermarket this is the brand and this is the battery in question that came with this charger so I got it uh, flew to North Carolina where I was for a few days brought it down with me I've been using this tool I love this tool especially for small repairs perfect little tool love it well on Sunday you're gonna watch a clip I'm charging the batteries and I charged those two batteries and then came down for the third battery and I'm doing stuff in my workshop doing a project and then I left and went to Home Depot and left this battery on the charger and uh, it blew up blew up I came walk back into the shop probably 10 minutes after it blew up and um, I could take this I took the smell I knew something wasn't right looked at it review the video clips on my surveillance uh, cameras and it explains itself now you're gonna look at the clip but what I want to show you is lucky for me there was no serious damage so okay the charger was placed here at first I had the charger right here and then I was gonna do a project here so I moved the charger right here right here where I keep a bunch of my tools so it's an open cabinet kind storeroom where I keep most of my tools so apparently this battery exploded while charging and it flew across and ended up in this area right in this area on the bare concrete it ended up ah uh, fortunate for me no serious damage but had this battery gone this direction and caused that fire i would have lost everything you look clearly at the video the battery just flew into that direction so it's a wake-up call for me when charging even those batteries they do blow up take a look at it 
This is the charger. It blew up. So moving forward, I gotta be real careful. I charge batteries. This is one of my chargers right here for my Ryobi tool. I got another charger right here. My Ryobi tool. I usually put a battery into the charger and I just leave it until it's charged. Now I gotta think differently now. Look closely and you will see the battery is flying across with that big flame and it burnt itself out on the concrete that part you will not see in the video because it's off camera Yes, my shop is equipped with fire extinguisher. This is one. Got another one here. Fire extinguishers. I got another one now somewhere. I got some advice for people with kids, young children, that has the toys that uses lithium ion or lipo batteries. Uh, lithium ion and lipo batteries those batteries can really explode and cause a massive fire those are drone batteries lipo batteries for my drones and as you could see those are a little puffy whenever the batteries start getting a little puffy like that that means one or two of the cells no longer good and it's time to replace them at some point you keep charging those things they will blow up and when those blow up it's a huge fire as small as a pack this is this can cause a massive fire you know you buy your kid a, a e-bike or one of the stuff that uses lithium ion a drone he's just excited to go fly the drone ride the bike skateboard whatever it is He's not thinking about safety. Kids don't think about safety. They just want to charge 
or sometimes put the stuff to charge and they fall asleep or they go play and the stuff is charging meanwhile that's a time bomb waiting to happen so what I do I'm a drone I fly drones what I do when I charge my batteries is I'm sitting right there while my batteries are charging and if for any reason I got to run to the store run to the Home Depot let me show you what I do and this is just me this is not from a fire expert this is just what I do for my own safety I take my charger and my batteries I set a cooler outside I place my charger plug my batteries in the charger is on an extension cord I plug it in I cover the cooler tightly and I leave the cooler in an open spot just in case there's an explosion it will burn itself off but it's not gonna take down the house this is not from a fire expert this is just what I do in case I got to make a run I plug my stuff outside in a cooler preferably not in the Sun somewhere shaded under a tree if there's gonna be an explosion a fire the cooler will burn the extension cord will burn but you're not gonna burn up the house that's just what I do drone batteries lithium batteries are very dangerous batteries so if you got kids with those toys all the skateboards and the hoverboards and the drones and the e-bikes beware of that just take a look at this video I could have lost my entire shop Kinesiot maintenance just giving advice it's also important to note that some of those batteries drone batteries are so-called smart batteries meaning that there's a battery management system either built in the battery and um, this will manage how the battery is charged so when the battery is full it will actually balance the cells of the battery and when the battery is fully charged it will shut itself off and they're called smart batteries but they man-made batteries mass production I'm sure out of the batch there's some that's defective so even with the batteries for your tools all the Ryobi tools and all the other tools they do have a battery management system to manage the charge but again they man-made something could go wrong so I would say make sure you have fire extinguishers uh, smoke alarm system even the surveillance system is good but just don't leave batteries unattended 